Trevor Phipps. I'm here with Amanda Brinkman from the Deluxe Corporation. Would you like to talk a bit about why you're here? Absolutely. So Deluxe is here um, on part of our search for the next small town that we're going to feature in our series called the Small Business Revolution. Um, so the Small Business Revolution is where we go into a small town and infuse half a million dollars in revitalizing the small businesses and the main street. And what we're really looking for is a town that already has a really healthy small business community, but maybe needs a little bit of a boost. Maybe needs a little, maybe some of the small businesses need help with marketing, which is something that Deluxe uh, does uh, for small businesses. Uh, maybe it's uh, the main street just needs a little sprucing up. Um, so we're just really looking for that small town that recognizes the opportunity is to really band around its small businesses and support them. So why did the Deluxe Corporation Start up small businesses. Great question. So Deluxe has been working with small businesses for over a hundred years now. And so two years ago, to celebrate our hundredth anniversary, we launched a small business revolution where we went across the country and told the stories of small businesses, really to try and um, uh, ignite a movement of people to support small businesses and recognize the importance of doing so. And it was on that journey that we really saw that small businesses are really struggling in small towns. Uh, it's hard to compete with big box retailers and national restaurant chains. And so we wanted to do something about that. And so that's when we started the contest for small towns to apply for this half million dollar grant. And um, we filmed it and it, it's a show. Uh, this year it was on Hulu. It's on smallbusinessrevolution.org. Uh, season one winner was Wabash, Indiana. And so we encourage people to go and, and view that to see what Woodland Park is up for and what, uh, what the potential impact could be here in the community. And how, how did we become finalists? Like what, were, what was the criteria to pick the top eight or whatever? Out of, how many was there total? Uh, there was nearly 14,000 nominations. So you guys should feel amazing that you're in the eight that we're visiting. And we were just talking last night, you know, even at this stage we're, we're going out to visit eight and then we're going to narrow it down to four or five or six that we'll then put up for voting in February. But we really feel like these eight towns are already winning because there's lots of great media attention already. People are talking about you on social. Well, we just did a Facebook Live this morning. There's already 350 views of it. So people are, are you know, they're, they're uh, looking at Woodland Park already. And so I feel like you're, you've already won by being on the short list. Um, but the reason you're on the short list is you had a couple of really great nominations. So you have a couple of community members to really thank for that. And then, um, you know, we asked some questions back and we just were really moved by the responses. Um, you were just the right size. So you, you know, want to make sure that the, it, it truly is a small town. And we want to make sure that there's already a small business base here um, that was ready for that next stage. We want to make sure we were able to make an impact when we come. So, okay, so I, after today, it's going to get narrowed down even further and then it'll be to vote on the public? Correct. So we're going to um, take the eight short list and probably narrow it down to around five. Um, in February, February 9th to be specific, we're going to then announce who the five finalists are, and we'll do that on national television from New York. And, um, and then uh, those five towns will have one week to rally the votes. And you can do anything. You can get celebrities that know your town. You can have your, your cousins vote from Florida. I mean, you can, whatever it takes. And Wabash probably has some good advice about how they rallied votes from across the country uh, to vote for their town. And then it'll come down to public vote. So at that point, it's not Deluxe's decision. It'll be up to the country which nice. town we end up doing the, the Small Business Revolution for. Well, we, we to and would you just explain again exactly what your position is with the Small Town? Small business revolution? Absolutely. So uh, I'm the chief brand and communications officer for Deluxe, and so um, I uh, am on the team that originally created the small business revolution. Um, I, uh, I star in the small business revolution show, uh, the, the web series, um, and then I'm also the executive producer of the, the show itself as well. Nice. Yeah. Right. Well, is there anything else you want to mention about Deluxe or about the Small Business Revolution? Well, Deluxe just loves small businesses. I mean, we work with four and a half million small businesses across the country, and this whole program is really genuine and authentic because we see how hard it is to run a small business. It's, it's really hard. And, um, and we love um, being able to help with things like marketing or operating your business because those things don't naturally um, come to a lot of small business owners. You know, they don't start a business to build a website, but you need a website. And so we like helping with those kinds of things. And so um, Deluxe is just honored to be working this intimately with small businesses through this program.
All right, well, th thank you very much for coming out and freezing. Yeah, out of town. I'm from Minnesota. This is nothing. <laughs> there yeah. you go. <laughs> Good. Thank you for awesome, having yeah. me. Yeah, the hospitality has been amazing.